Flower to the People was born out of the scenes that we saw at the beginning of lockdown, of flower disappearing, bread disappearing off of shelves. And obviously, as a flower mill, and as a small flower mill as well, Scotland the Bread was hit by that overwhelming demand for flour. And so there was a desire to increase the capacity of the mill so we could produce more, but also to work with community food hubs who are already working in vulnerable communities, making fresh, local, nutritious produce available to the people who need it most. These are the original wheats that we saved from seed banks. They're from the 1800s, very old Scottish varieties. And what we've done last year is to grow the three of them together as a mixture in the field. Because they're old varieties, they haven't been bred to have a really strong gluten. And it's really important at the minute because so many people are becoming gluten intolerant. And actually we're saying, well, maybe it's something to do with the kind of wheat that we're growing and how we're growing it and how we're baking the bread itself. Our flour comes from organic farming methods and the way that we mill it as well is very low energy consumption. It's a cyclone mill which just makes much finer flour and keeps all of the nutritious bran in it so it's much more multi-purpose. So there's innovation in the side of the technology itself but I think also innovation in the way that we're looking at the supply chain. There are a lot of people who say you can't grow wheat in Scotland because traditionally we've always thought you need a really long, hot, dry summer. And that's why lots of the wheat that we eat in this country is imported from Kazakhstan or Canada or Ukraine. But we're trying to say, actually, we can grow wheat in Scotland. We've done it and we've made it into flour and working with our community partners, they've baked it into really nutritious bread for their communities. Revitalizing the rural economy as well as the sort of sustainable economy in general is really important to us. Flower to the People is a perfect example of a project for Innovate UK to support. It's small scale, it's in a traditional area, but it's using modern technology to increase productivity and it's part of the things that Innovate UK do to support the innovation that's taking place here. I hope that this project inspires a lot of people to try baking at home, but what we really aim with Flower to the People is to introduce that notion of you can be healthy from using a different flour, from eating real bread produced in a really incredible way.